Two million dollars now added to the fight against suicides in Utah thanks to private and public funding. ABC4 Sarah Martin has the lieutenant governor's announcement and what that money will now be used for. It's a cause the vast majority of Utahns have a personal connection to. Tragically, in the past five years, we've lost approximately 3,200 Utahns to suicide, which is more than the combined populations of Daggett and Paiute counties. In fact, just the last year alone, we lost more people to suicide than the entire city of Huntsville. While we recognize that the government can't solve all of our problems, there is a critical role for government to play. House Bill 393 provided $700,000 this year, available only if the private sector would match the contribution. And it has. The fund now holds more than $2 million. Intermountain Healthcare. And Greg and Julie Cook as individuals, they are also the co-founders of doTERRA, but this was a, a personal donation from them. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the University of Utah, Rocky Mountain Power, the Utah Shooting Sports Council, and donations from tax returns that have totaled nearly $25,000 from the individuals all across our state. 100% of that money will go to a prevention and awareness campaign. That will focus on radio, TV, uh, social media, uh, a broad awareness campaign trying to reach people in all different sectors of society, letting them know that there's help available and it's perfectly acceptable, encouraged to reach out for help. Lieutenant Governor Spencer Cox ended the meeting today with a reminder, 100% of suicides are preventable. If you or someone you love is in crisis, there's a hotline available 24 hours a day, completely free. That number is on your screen right now, 1-800-273-TALK. Reporting from Capitol Hill, I'm Sarah Martin, ABC4 News.